This is the immigration story of Yashim Zerinyozo. She was born in Ankara, the capital of Turkey, in 1980. Yashim has three siblings and lots of relatives. During her childhood, her extended family would always meet on weekends and special events. One thing that stands out from her childhood is the memory of playing in the streets with her friends. In college, her roommate introduced Yashim to her brother, Batalgazi. Yashim and Batalgazi eventually got married. Batalgazi went to the United States to attend graduate school. Yashim followed in 2006 at the age of 26. Leaving, was, leaving Turkey was difficult because it involved leaving her family and friends behind. Getting to America was a very long trip for her because Turkey is a small country. And up to that point, she's only used to three hour road trips max. The trip involved getting to Germany for catching a flight to the US. The whole trip took about 21 hours. She says, it was a very different experience for me. Once in America, Yashim went to live in Providence, Rhode Island, because her husband was a student at Brown University. Providence is a small town full of students from around the world. Yashim remembers noticing all the houses in America. But in Turkey, most people live in apartments. Most American houses, she noticed, have gardens and front yards. But in Turkey, there were usually just one backyard for an apartment building. She recalls an early memory of when she first got to America. I, I remember looking out the window and seeing a squirrel. I was afraid because I've never seen a squirrel before. Also, she noticed that loop arrangements were different too. In Turkey, it was normal for unmarried children to live with parents or older parents to live with unmarried kids. But here in the US, most generations don't live, usually don't live together. After her husband graduated from Brown University, they moved to Indiana because Pato Gazi had found a good job out for him there. One of her children, a girl, was born in Indiana. When Bata Gazi got a job at Stanford University, she and her family moved to San Francisco, California. Three of her children were born there. In San Francisco, you just saw many homeless people on the streets. She remembered back in she remembered back in Turkey watching movies about the US, where everybody had a beautiful life and beautiful homes, but in reality there were many homeless people. This really upset Yishim because she thought in the U.S. everyone was wealthy enough to afford a home. Yishim and her family moved again, this time to Scarsdale, New York. Because her husband had got a very, really good job opportunity at J.P. Morgan Chase and then again at Blackstone as a workplace, she likes America because of the many opportunities. Currently, she's a teacher at Yellow Acorn Monastery. It's her first job in America. One of the biggest challenges Yishim faced in the U.S. It's not having her kid, her mom, dad, or siblings with her. When she needs help to take care of her kids, she doesn't know anyone who can help her. Another big challenge has been learning the language. When she came to the U.S., Batogazi translated for her during the first couple of months. After a while, she got a little better at communicating, but it took her about two years to learn how to speak English. When asked, Yishimu says she would want to live in Turkey again because she'd be able to see her siblings more. She misses having the opportunity to meet up with her family at night for dinner and celebrating traditional events together, like weddings, to get there. Yishim also misses Turkish food. In Turkey, teachers are much stricter compared to the teachers in America, and the education is not as good as in Turkey. So Yishim and Batagasi prefer to raise their children in America.